Matthew Bernard was suspected of murder, but it's not known why. He stripped off all of his clothes and ran into the streets. An officer used mace to try to stop Bernard, but he kept on running straight at Lloyd Galden in a church parking lot. Great. I was just saying, good Lord, get me out of it, and I was fighting him as much as I could. Bernard then took off down the road where he was stopped by officers working with a police dog. <laughs> He's alive. Yeah, a murderer running naked. Please don't shoot him. No, it's fine. It's okay. It's uh, it's uh, here. Here's here's white man Jerry resisting arrest. Oh, Jerry. You're going to get in trouble. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, they're going to hurt oh. you. Jerry. Jerry's now stealing the police car. Jerry just locked the door of the police car. The police can't get in their Jerry, own damn car. Don't do oh, Jerry, Jerry, don't do it. Jerry, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it, Jerry. Come on out. Oh, and there's Jerry stealing the police vehicle. There he is. And the police are running after their own vehicle. Nobody got shot. Nobody. No. There's white boy Jerry. It's always white boy day. Uh, here, here, here's one. Um, Los Feliz, California. Um, this is your, your everyday DUI. Uh, this is a guy who's so freaking drunk he's falling down. Also a white guy. Um, and has just hit a car. Okay. Furious tonight in mm -hmm. Los Feliz. Some drivers say a suspected DUI driver hit their parked cars Ooh. And the LAPD apparently let him just walk away. A witness recorded video of him and the damage left behind. They described the man as aggressive and yelling at officers. KKL 9's Candace Crone has that story. Oh. 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 Yeah. yeah. Come on, dude. Where are the cops? A neighbor who took this video says the man who tumbled over got out of this wrecked Dodge Charger right. after slamming into three parked cars in Los Feliz last Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Witnesses say the driver was making a left turn onto Hillhurst Avenue from Los Feliz Boulevard when the crash happened. The damage left behind was tremendous. Katie Wicker says when the driver got out, she knew something wasn't right and couldn't believe what happened next. He was completely intoxicated the entire time. It was apparent to everyone that was there. He was yelling at everyone. Um, he was yelling aggressive comments at the police officers, at the uh, ambulance that was there, at the tow truck driver, and he literally stumbled away. Police were called to the scene. You can see the man wobble as he tried to open the driver's side door. Oh, Jesus. Wicker, who knows one of the car owners, says she never once saw officers give the driver a field sobriety test. <laughs> In fact, after they left, she recorded the man walking away. We asked him why. Uh, we asked him why he didn't, why didn't provide him a breathalyzer test, and they couldn't give us any answers. It's because he's white. <laughs> That's why. I, I, I got tons of these, okay? I got so many of these. This is unbelievable. It's just an amazing thing. But God help you. God help you if you're black. Anything in while black. Anything at all. Sleeping while black. Breonna Taylor sleeping while black. Uh, praying while black. Uh, you know, Dylan Roof walked in. He was invited, uh, you know, to go pray with a whole bunch of people. Yeah, and you can't do anything. And driving while black. Uh, so I pulled up some of the stats, okay? Uh, blacks are indeed certifiably 63% more likely to be stopped, even though they drive 16% less than whites. They spend less time on the road. And if you take into account the less time on the road that blacks spend because they live in places where there is mass transportation and use it, then they're about 95% more likely to be stopped. They're 115% more likely than whites to be searched in a traffic stop. And here's the real kicker. Contraband is more likely to be found in the searches of white drivers. Let me repeat that. You white people, <laughs> you white people, you are much more likely to be holding than blacks.
and yet we get searched a whole lot less. And they find more contraband on us than they do on blacks who are searched 115 percent or at least uh, you know five to ten percent uh more frequently uh than whites are I, it's just it's it's documentable you know there there are so many studies stanford did a study just so you know it's it's in the homework if you need these numbers if you want these numbers if you're interested in these numbers if you want to know what is really going on so stanford did a study i believe they looked at a hundred million traffic stops a hundred million traffic stops and then um there's uh there yeah that was the stanford and then there's another one that's that was done in um north carolina uh that has the same results the same results so i would say that's a clear-cut case of racism and some of it some of it is just buried deep within the person some of it is really wearing it on your sleeve like a swastika on your forehead, but others are just suffering from this bias that they carry around that I don't even think they're aware of. And that's why when you get phone calls from people who just don't even understand that they're, you know, uh, biased, you kind of don't know what to do. I mean, you can't really call them a racist because they're not even aware of it, that they harbor these, uh, you know, ill feelings towards people of color or towards black men or towards young blacks or towards Spanish guys or whatever. They're not even aware of it. They just have this internal bias. And they're not sure why. They're just pretty sure that George Floyd deserved what he got. They're pretty sure that Dante got what he deserved they're pretty sure Philando Castile even though it's on tape who did absolutely nothing wrong did it all by the book put his hands on the dashboard did everything that the cops asked him to do and then told the police listen I'm a licensed I'm a licensed gun owner and there is a gun in my uh you know uh my uh uh, um box you know what do you call that glove box there's a gun in my glove box told the cops and the cops killed him anyway in front of a four-year-old kid and his girlfriend do you know what i'm saying i mean and and now you know if you want to move away from uh doing things while black in this country and you want to look at more white guys who get away with all kinds of crap look no further than matt gets yes matt gets who is He's got honorable in front of his name because he's a congressman from Florida, okay, Matt Getz is. So now we're finding out from women, eyewitnesses who attended the same events as Matt Getz. So now we're finding out that these parties that Matt Getz attended were not just drunk parties not fueled by just simple alcohol no but that they were fueled by drugs like cocaine and ecstasy and paid for sex commercial sex with digital payments being wired but also other gop 